the very back. Um, you've got a dock water in, so you can connect a hose um, from the dock, and that'll pressurize the the um, domestic water supply, so you don't have to have the pump running. And then this is your deck wash, so you can you plug the hose into this one, and you just wash down the bottom. Um, the bilge pump is here. The handles are stored underneath the lid of the cockpit lazarette. So it's just, there are electric bilge pumps in the, each hole as well. Um, but each hole's, there's another one on the other side. Both holes are equipped with manual, so it's just a matter of pumping. Pretty straightforward. You should never have to use that. Um, just in front of the engine hatch is where your uh, emergency tiller would, would attach. So if there's something wrong with the cable steering, you use your emergency tiller. And it just slots right into the head of the rudder stock on either side. And then you have an extension handle so that you can steer the boat that way. Um, again, you should never have to use that. Um, you can always use the autopilot when you're underway if there's a problem with the, the uh, normal steering. So, in the port engine space, you have a, you have a start battery here. Um, you have a battery switches. The battery switch here is for the port uh, engine only. And then there's a parallel switch as well. So, if for some reason the, the port start battery is uh, dead, you can use the the parallel switch to use the other battery. Okay. So that's that one. There's a light in here as well. Um, you've got lots of space around the engine. You have uh, oil fill here. Um, you have a fuel filter on the engine here. Uh, that's the um, that's the oil for the sail drive. Okay. Okay, so you can check this periodically. The water intake uh, for cooling the engine is on this, the other side of the um, sail drive. Uh, it's just a normal ball valve. Mm -hmm. So when the handle's in line with the hose, it means it's open. Yeah. Like all the valves. Um, and all the valves should be exercised uh, occasionally. So from time to time you just want to open and close all of the valves. Okay. So this is the secondary fuel filter. There's a primary fuel filter back in here further. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Your the main breaker for the shore tower is here. Okay, so if you when the boat's plugged, if the boat's plugged in and you don't have shore power, there's Usually three things. Um, one could be that the hose, the, sorry, the core isn't connected quite properly. Uh, it could be that the there's a, a breaker on the shore side has tripped, or this breaker has tripped. Okay. So those are the three things that you check. And 99% of the time, that so that's where your problem will be. You're gonna find that. Um, there's a through hole down here that's open right now. That's for the deck wash. So it's a seawater deck wash, right? And again, you want to exercise that um, that valve as well. The switch for it's here. Okay. Um, you can also use it as uh, 
Uh, the pump for it is up here. You can also use it as fresh water. Um, so this is your selector switch here between seawater and fresh water. Um, this is your the heater. Uh, this is the furnace for the uh, for heating the boat. Um, and this is all manifold for that. On the starboard transom, um, you have your cockpit shower. You, you know, this is where your ladder, swim ladder is, so you come out of the water and you've got your cockpit shower here. Uh, we don't have the water pressure on right now, um, but it's just a, a pretty straightforward on off and temperature. So on this side, again, you've got a start battery, uh, plus the four house batteries are on this side, and as well as the switches for them. Domestic, the engine, and that's the common negative. So